Now let's talk about subnetting in an IPv4 network. This is going to be a basic uh, subnetting uh, module. Um, so as you can see on the slide, there is, uh, I mean, a particular network 192.168.1.0, and it has 24 bit as the network part. So that leaves us uh, with uh, 8 bit for the host part. So if we are not going to borrow any bits from the host part, so then the host portion of both the network address and the mask are all going to be zero bits. Okay, so uh, before I, uh, I I tell you you know about how the subnetting is done, just want to uh, you know uh, tell you that subnetting for subnetting you can only use the host part of an IP address. You cannot use the network part of an IP, of, of of an IPv4 address. And as we will see in uh, later on in the modules, the IPv6, uh, you know, you can basically create subnets using the network part of an IPv6 address. But as far as IPv4 address is concerned, you cannot uh, use the network part of an IPv4 address to create subnets. You have to use the host part of an IPv4 address. Now coming back to the slide. So if I borrow one bit from the host portion of the address, so it's going to give me two subnets because you know that one bit can have a value of zero or it can have a value of one. And the new subnets are going to have the same uh, you know subnet mask. Okay, so these are the decimal notation representation of the of the subnetting that we've done. The network part is basically 192.168.1.0 is going to be the network address of the first subnet, which is the subnet address. Or the subnet ID slash 24 and then the mask of it is 255.255.255.128 and notice on the bottom the second subnet ID is going to be 192.168.1.128 slash 25 and the mask is going to be the same as uh, the first uh, subnet ID so um, I mean in this particular network uh, continuing from the previous uh, slide, this router R1 has two interfaces. So it is basically it has uh, you know uh, connected its interfaces with two LAN segments on its uh, gigabit interface uh, zero interface uh, zero and Z interface one. And then you know uh, th those LAN segments, each LAN segment has only one machine connected to it. So now let's talk about the address range for this particular network. So the subnet is 192.168.1.0 slash 25. This is the first subnet. And the network address is uh, 192.168.1.0. It's the network address. The first host address is going to be uh, 192.168.1.1. The last host address is going to be 192.168.1.126. And then the broadcast address will be 192.168.1.127 which means all ones bit in the remaining host portion which is seven bits because we have used the eighth bit of the host portion to create two subnets similarly for the second subnet id which is 192.168.1.128/25 so the network address is going to be this one uh, 192.168.1.128. The first host address is going to be dot 129. The last host address is going to be dot 254, and the broadcast address is you know going to be all ones in the host part, which is the last seven bits. And then because the subnet ID has uh, you know the the one bit in it, so it's going to be dot 255. Okay, so this is how you're going to assign the, you know, the IP addresses or configure the interfaces with the IP addresses. So with, you know, if you're on uh, router R1, so you basically, you know, use this command interface gigabit ethernet power slash zero. And the, you're going to run the command IP address 192.168.1.1. And you're going to give the subnet mass of this subnet ID 255.255.255.128. Similarly, you are going to give, you know, configure the second gigabit interface with the IP address dot 129, 
and the subnet mask is going to be the same because the num the you know the number of bits for the subnet is going to be the same for both the subnets. So how you're going to basically calculate uh, you know the number of subnets uh, that you need or the number of hosts which are required. So there are, you know, uh, uh, many ways, and this is the easiest way to, you know, uh, calculate the number of subnets, which is, you know, 2 raised to the power n, where n is the number of bits that you have borrowed. So if you borrow one bit from the host part, so you're going to have, you know, two subnets. And similarly, if you want to calculate the number of host, so the formula is host equals to 2 raised to the power n, and n is the number of host bits remaining. So if you have seven bits in the host part which are left uh, after using one bit for the subnet part, so it's going to, you're going to have 128 host per subnet. And remember that you cannot use the first uh, you know address and also you cannot use the last address which is all ones because the first address which is zero is going to be the subnet ID and the last address is going to be the broadcast address. So you have to subtract two addresses from the total number of possible, uh, you know, host addresses that you can give. Um, so it's going to be 2 raised to the power n minus 2. And in this particular example, it is going to be 2 raised to the power 7 minus 2. 126 valid host addresses you can give per subnet. So we, we learned about basic subnetting in today's module uh, and we also looked into some examples of uh, you know how we can uh, basically uh, create a subnet uh, in a network.